Hi everybody, just going to get this started. All right, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to go to screen share. There we are. Amazing. And we are going to push record. There we go. Welcome everybody. My name is Rachel Pedretti and just a little bit about me and what you're going to hear during this presentation. For those of you who have, been, have seen this presentation before, it's pretty much the same. I uh, just thought we'd redo it because the old one was deleted. So I'm just going to be going over the A to Z of Facebook and what that's going to be. It's, it's the basics, guys. Facebook is, uh, and social media is such an important part of building our isogenics business of connecting with people, but it's not the end all and be all, but it's a really important part. So we understand that the world of Facebook is always changing. Um, this is, as I know it, the more, you know, it is relevant, it is basic, and there's so much more to it. But if you can nail the basics, guys, you're halfway there. So for those of you who don't know me, I am from Melbourne. I've been doing isogenics for nearly four years. I found isogenics because I was looking for a health solution. I was looking to lose weight and improve my health. I was working as a nurse on the oil rigs. What happened was um, my mortgage broker recommended that I try these products. I did. I had an amazing transformation. I loved them and um, then started to share with my friends and family. I started to share through Facebook. I started to blog how I was feeling and authentically share my journey. And that really um, caused a lot of people to pay attention to me and follow my journey and it inspired them to get started. Um, over the times, uh, Facebook has definitely changed and um, it's just so, so important that, yes, you do Facebook and, you you know, you, you do nail it. It is quite simple, some parts and you know, don't get too worried about it and don't, and just whatever you do, don't, don't just leave all your eggs in the basket. Don't just post and pray. So let's go over everything and we'll keep it really simple and hopefully not too long. And there we go. So just a quick picture, just to show you like how wonderful having an online business truly is. Like we can work from anywhere in the world. And these are just some of the pictures of some of the places that I've worked in the world with my incredible team and, um, Vegas in the pool. You know, one of my favorite ones is just being on the couch um, in the back of the car. I'm sitting there actually on a phone call to Kathy Kuva and so forth. And just know that this is possible for you as well. And whatever your dream looks like, you know, your dream might not be to hang out by a pool or a beach. Maybe it's so that you can work at home and be there when your children get home from work. And isn't it amazing? We need to love social media. Okay, um, we need to embrace it. It is the it is the way of the future, and you know there are so many different platforms. Um, it's important not to get overwhelmed. It's important to have a plan, and I'm just going to share with you what has worked for me. If you are working with a leader and you've heard something different, or you've got something else that's working for you, please by all means keep doing that. Okay. Okay, so here, why we should use Facebook. It's free. Everybody's got a phone. You can reach so many people all around the world. It's about leveraging, guys. And Facebook is a place where you can build your brand, you can build your organization, and you can support your team. So, you know, why wouldn't you use it? All right, so with something that I often think about is, I'm not going to leave anything on the table. I don't want to get in 10 years down the track and be like, geez, I wish I'd use Facebook more. All right. Okay. So first let's start up with attraction marketing. And what is attraction marketing? It's giving people value. It's, in, it's not spamming people with a product or the company. And it's using pictures, posts, and Facebook lives to inspire people to come to you. Imagine you're a magnet, right? And um, you post things that, that you love, that you, you, know, you care about authentically. And it, what it does is it attracts people to come to you and then they inquire and then they purchase. I love attraction marketing, all right? Now, let's talk about branding. So many of us 
myself included, we get so caught up in, you know, what is my brand? Oh my God, I need to go do a branding course. Like, I don't know what to post. Guys, it's as simple as who are you? What do you stand for? What's your mission statement? What are your interests, your dreams, your passions? And then make sure you're consistent. You know, I don't want to see one, you know, I don't want to see you like something on Facebook and then something different on Instagram. Okay. Or so, um, so some really things, good things to think about here, guys, is um, who are you? Where have you come from? Where are you going? And why should people join you? All right. Now, um, there are so many different branding coaches and branding courses out there. And, you know, I don't believe that you need to do them. I just believe that you need to get really clear on who you are and why you're in isogenics and who are the people that you um, want to help. Okay. And get really clear on your story. Um, so there's people out there branding themselves as, you know, that stay at home mom. There's people out there branding themselves as the person who, you know, into the health and fitness Um, there's the people branding themselves as entrepreneurial, um, but there's not also, you know, a category like that. There's people who are just positive and happy and serving others. And, you know, that can be your brand as well. Your values are your brands. All right. So don't get too confused about it. Just think about what you love and go post that. All right. And I just want to let you know as well that your brand will develop over time. All right. You don't need to have a perfectly worked out brand to start. This is my favorite one, consistency. And, um, you know, hand on heart, I can be guilty of this. You know, when I stop posting, um, it definitely affects my business. People are always watching you. There are people ghosting you. Today I heard a story about somebody who, um, who had a girl watch her for a year and she didn't know that she'd been watching her. And because she was consistent on, on social media and she showed up as herself and always there to help others and serve and, you know, not going anywhere, that person eventually contacted her and joined her. Okay. Um, Now I've got here, you know, ensure you post daily two to four posts a day guys, you know, what's right for you. All right. Make sure you keep the quality high. Don't just post for the sake of it. Um, and next we're going to talk about some Facebook don'ts. All right. So don't bombard your followers, your friends. Don't spam your page. Don't add people into groups without their permission. I want to share with you this. Facebook will close down your groups if you go and add a whole lot of people to the groups who don't know they're being added and they report your group to Facebook. So just don't do it. Don't post your website or links on your personal Facebook page. Facebook just don't like it. All right. Don't post things that your target market aren't going to like. All right. Um, I talk about that later on. Don't spend all day on Facebook, please. Like just do it shoot fire done keep going don't tag people in the picture unless they're in the picture unless they've you know approved you tagging them and um i wouldn't be using more than two hashtags on facebook definitely don't use third-party posting programs facebook hate that um don't share posts directly from facebook to instagram now i want to just share with you guys um about the tagging of before and afters and this is entirely your choice okay um with before and afters it's really important people have got worked really really hard for their before and after and that's that's great um i'm in two schools of thought here is if you tag them you can directly be sending your audience over to their facebook okay and you have to be okay with that um I personally don't choose to tag someone unless they are my downline because I don't want to send my audience over to somebody else. Okay. Um, It's entirely your choice. And I know that some people are going to be split either way about this. And um, I just think that my Facebook followers, my Facebook friends, you know, they're people I've worked really hard to, to get, um, to build a relationship with, to, um, 
And so I really don't want to send them somewhere else. Okay. I definitely always acknowledge the person. I use their name. I just don't tag them. Um, the other thing I want to talk to you about is sharing people's content. So Facebook, um, you can't go and copy someone's post and post it on your page anymore. Facebook know that and they won't give you very much visibility. So you actually need to rewrite posts. You need to take just little bits out of them and use them as inspiration. All right. Let's talk about emojis. Okay. Look at these posts. Like Carly Hewitt is bang on. She's amazing. They're really, really incredible and easy to look at. And, and, um, they increase engagement by 33%. You know, Greg, just a couple of emojis there and it just looks brighter and more engaging. Um, Nikita as well. And now have a look at this. So this is with, this is with emojis. This is what no emojis. And I'm just going to let you just decide what you think is the right, you know, what's better for you. Okay. All right. So let's talk about a Facebook lift. All right, so let's look at your profile picture, guys. Clear, happy, no alcohol, no kids, no pets, just you, no hats, no sunnies, and make sure you've got clothes on, all right? You know, people need to be able to look at you. They need to be able to look at your face. They need to be able to connect with you. And these are all mine. These are all my old Facebook photo profile pictures before Isogenics. And now look at these. These are the kind of, these are the right ones moving forward. Can you just see the difference? Can you see... Um, how easy it is to connect with that person in that picture. All right. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Let's talk about your cover picture. So what you can do is you can pick some of your favorite things. You can put it in a picture. Um, you want people to be able to relate to you. You are a professional network marketer. Remember that you are professional. Okay. So make sure it looks professional. Some of my favorite apps are Canva and Pick Monkey. Uh, please don't message me and ask me how I do this because I normally get someone else to do it for me because I'm not that great at technology and IT. Um, but there's some really, really good examples there for you. Okay. Okay. So Facebook's got this um, section and you can pick your favorite Facebook photos and make them featured. And this is what people are going to see when they look at your Facebook so it's just another great way for you to direct the people looking at your Facebook to what you want them to see first. So go back to who are you, where have you been, where are you going, what do you stand for, well, why should they join you? So some great things. You've got Anna who's, you know, into her fitness. You've got some um, Greg down there with family. You know, I've got a big picture of the team, my before and after. Um, you know, Rach is definitely, Rach McConnell's got a lot of family. You know, it's just really important. It takes a couple of minutes. Just pick your five favorite photos. All right. So here we can, um, you can do an introduction. So you can say who you are and where, you, you know, again, where you're going. So I say I'm on a mission to transform thousands of people's lives physically and financially. Ask me how. All right. Where you work, where you're from, and now where do you live? Guys, it's really important to put that kind of stuff there. It's another way people connect with you, all right? Now, I just want to let you guys know about having your profile on public. I know there's some crazy people out there and I know that there's, um, you know, there's stalkers and there's people that, you know, aren't always having our best intentions but you can block them if anyone starts to pester you or you know you feel uncomfortable something's not right just push block the amount of people that have been able to come to me and approach me and talk to me about isogenics because my facebook has been set on public is worth so much more than any of um any anything not right happening um so this is how you do it you simply go into the privacy settings and tools and you say who can see your future posts, make it public, all right? Go for it. Entirely up to you. I know there are some jobs where you can't have your Facebook on public and I completely understand that, mm -hmm. all right? Let's talk about going live. This is becoming more and more and more and more important every single day. Guys, it is 
I, I know that not everybody is designed to go live and that's all right, but most of you are, all right? What it does is it allows real-time video sharing to your audience. You can go live on your personal page and you can go live in groups. You can inspire, you can tell stories, you can review books or podcasts, you can talk about facing fears, overcoming hurdles and struggles. You can open your box, all right? We've got some people who are blogging their 30 days in groups and adding, you know, people to that group. Um, I've recently heard of a person who goes into groups and has become an expert and is getting thousands of, um, you know, extra followers and people interacting with them that way. All right. Um, something, you know, if you need to push yourself and you need to get uncomfortable and that's what's going to help you go live, then do it, guys. Just do it. I challenge you. Um, I challenge you to go and share these kind of things. Have a listen to this. Now, you weren't always this way, okay? You need to go back and you need to share on your Facebook really about your transformation. It's really easy for people to forget who you were before isogenics, okay? And, it's, and then you, you do become unrelatable. So you need to show the contrast between your life now and how it used to be. So people can relate, you know, what was life like before isogenics, before you earned this income, before you have this physical transformation, you know, were you in a happy relationship or were you broken? You know, were you stressed when the bills come in? You know, did you hate leaving your kids when you had to go to work? All those types of things. Okay. You need to really share your transformation and then Facebook live is the best way to do it. All right. All right, so my suggestion is to just screenshot this, but you can practice, all right? Practice so you know what you're doing. Select yourself as an, your own audience member and then go for it. Make sure you do an announcement before you go live. Make sure you've got good lighting and strong internet, no background noise. You can even use a tripod. Um, you need to turn off all the calls or divert them. Now, picking a high exposure time is really easy. Okay, so what you do is you just go into Facebook Messenger and you see when people are online. Or ultimately, it's normally the start of the week and it's normally the evenings, okay? Um, so Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays in the evenings, if you go into Messenger, you'll see how many people are online. Just do that for a week and just have a look and see where everyone's at. All right, guys, be prepared. There's nothing wrong with writing, having a, a notepad and having all your notes written down. When you're doing the heading, when you're doing the title, it needs to be attention grabbing. So it needs to trigger some emotion in someone. And, and I would say have emojis. Always interact with the people, thank them for getting on, invite them to invite people. You can ask the audience questions. You can tell them to comment. You need to have um, a call to action at the end. And also if people have... I always say, if you found value in this, please share this, you know, reach out to me for more information and you just need to check your duration isn't too long. Like there is no point going on and on and waffling, but if you're giving value and people are staying on, then that's great. All right. How to save posts. This is one of the best hacks I've ever learned and it saved me so much time, guys. Click on the top right-hand side of a post. If you like it, push save. To retrieve the post, you just go back into where those little three dots are down, three lines down the bottom right-hand side on, on Facebook, okay? Follow the pictures. You go to saved and you should be able to find them, right? Remember, don't just copy and paste. You've got to change the post now, okay? Now let's talk about interaction. So, so important. Social media is all about social. It's not just about posting and praying, Okay. With saying that, I don't want you guys spending too much time on Facebook and social media. I want you guys out there writing your list, connecting with people, picking up the phone and calling them. But just know that every single person that you text, text and Facebook message and call, they're going to go back to your, to your Facebook to check out what you've been doing. So you need, you need, it's like a business card or a book. You need to have it looking good. Um, and you need to, it needs to be relevant. There is no point calling someone about isogenics, telling them, you know, 
about your new your new business, inviting them to join you, or asking if you've got refer if they've got anyone who'd be interested, asking them for a referral, and they go look at your Facebook, and there's no no hint of isogenics anywhere. All right. So let's go back to interaction. The goal is to grow a following of people who aren't enrolled in isogenics. So reply to all the comments, learn who these people are, what they're about and how they can um, be a part of what you're doing. To increase interaction, ask questions. I always give people direction and tell them what to do. Pictures are amazing. They in increase engagement and so do emojis. Um, Guys, it's really important that even before you go and post that you check um, you check in with a few um, people's profiles and just see what they're doing and give them some love. All right, so groups. I briefly touched about this before, but who's your target market? Where are they hanging out and what groups are they in? Join the groups, make sure you read the rules, post a picture of yourself, introduce yourself, and then start to become an expert in the group. So we've got one person who, you know, goes into makeup groups and she's become an expert in a makeup group. I've got, a, um, I've got another person who I know who I was actually speaking to yesterday. And he's in a group with 150,000 people and it's, I think, a motivational group. Um, and he's in there um, becoming an expert and connecting with people that way, getting 10 enrollments a month. Don't get into arguments. Don't post direct links. And finally, don't go and hang out in network marketing groups and try and enroll network marketers. A tip of the day is somebody who's already been in network marketing has already gone through all their lists, all right, and you don't want to be seen as the person who's poaching them, all right. If they want to come to you, that is totally fine, all right. But a person who hasn't been through their list that maybe has no experience but just has drive and desire like, that's who I'm looking for. Let's talk about target markets. Who are they? What do they like? What's their pain point? What are their interests? You know, post content towards them. All right. And this is normally the kind of stuff that you love. Let's talk about likes. So just because I want to just say this, just because no one likes a post, it doesn't mean it hasn't been seen. You're always being watched. All right. But just remember what goes around comes around. So if you're seeing other people's posts, make sure you comment, make sure you like. I now set a timer on my phone for 15 minutes and I go through Facebook and I comment and like posts. And then, you know, I notice that that really pushes up the interaction for me. The well symbol is something different. Not many people use it. You should definitely use it. All right, let's talk about Facebook Messenger. Guys, this is the best. It's quick, it's personal. People can hear your passion. It's a great way to build relationships with prospects, with cleansers, and with your team. Use it. If you don't know how to use it, um, ask somebody. All right, so important. You need to know your numbers, all right? You need to be able to track how your prospect found you, how many leads you've got coming in, how many tools you've sent, how many appointments, how many follow-ups, how many people you're adding to your cleanse page and how many people you're enrolling. What you, you can't improve what you don't measure, all right? Look, and the other thing for numbers, I really think as well is set yourself a target every day, you know, to comment on, 20 people not in isogenics posts a day. You know, that's so valuable. Um, I see a lot of people in isogenics just all commenting on each other's stuff, which is great and it's an incredible culture and I know we all got to support everybody, but they're already enrolled in isogenics. Imagine if you use that time to build relationships with people not in isogenics. What would your business look like? Okay. So I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm saying just be cautious of how much you do do it. So let's talk about the other folder. Did you know you have another folder? Sometimes people get stuck there, all right? So make sure you go and check it occasionally. You might find some cool people in there. Um, you might also find some creeps as well. But I do know I check mine every now and then and find some great people. Okay, so your pictures need to be high quality. It's so easy now you're on a phone. 
you can use the filters. So um, I've got on here, use Chrome, but I think now we're doing Vivid. Make sure you learn how to edit your photo, brighten and lighten, perfect your selfie, use the timer and download the app We Heart It for some stock photos. You get 80% more engagement with the picture. Did you know that? Wow. So let's talk about quotes. Use them, but don't overuse them, okay? Um, you can easily find quotes in, um, you can easily find quotes in, on Google, all right? Let's go to recognition. Guys, it's really important that we're always recognizing people for, for things that they're doing, okay? We are in a world of people just crying out for recognition, crying out for love, crying out um, just to be recognized. So you don't need to recognize someone just because they're rank advanced. You can recognize somebody for um, showing up as a great human, um, attending events, doing something for the team, an act of service or kindness. And yeah, of course, how they are on the cleanse page and how they are in the business. So just make sure you do that as much as you possibly can, guys. So scheduling and planning your posts. I truly believe that if you plan your posts in advance so you have a vault of some backups, that you are going to be less stressed and, you know, Facebook's not going to run you or your day. So organisation is the key, especially for people who are working, especially for people who, you know, have got other things. Isogenics is designed just to be, a, you know, built in the cracks of your time. And it's just about doing a little bit um, when you can. So, you know, when you get into a um, Facebook posting mood, write a couple of posts, leave them saved in your notes on your phone, and then they're ready to go. Okay. I also want to talk to you guys quickly while we're in S, just about Facebook stories. Um, I don't have a picture for that, sorry, but basically Facebook has got an um, an application now or a feature called Facebook story. And what happens is it allows your, what happens is it allows your um, pictures to be uploaded into messenger where um, there's a story about your day and it stays there for 24 hours. And Facebook is giving that a lot of um, visibility at the moment. So make sure you're using that. If you want to know more, just Google Facebook story and you'll find it. Okay, let's talk about using the tools. There are so many tools out here that talk about social media, how to use social media. Um, so just go and find them. They're on um, Isogenics Business and all of these ones are official Isogenics ones, so that's great. There's also the Social Media Success Guide from ISA Tools. And there's some Take Action Team podcasts on Podomatic. Okay, Crystal Wilson and Tanya Kilpatrick have both got really great ones there that I've listened to. Let's talk about being authentic and being you, okay? Now, this is going to hit home for some of you. A lot of the time we don't post who we really are and what we really think because we're worried about what someone's going to think about us. We're worried, are they going to like it? How many likes is this going to get? You know, is this what I should be posting? Well, let me tell you something. The more real you are, the more unique you are and the more authentic and true you are to yourself, the more people are going to love you, all right? So be you, be real, be bold, be vulnerable, and be relatable. People don't relate to the glory, all right? They all want to know the story. So Sheridan's post up there is amazing. You know, it's not as easy as it seems um, to get that perfect selfie. Look at her. Like she looks great in every single photo to me, but she's just being so real, sharing, um, sharing, you know, three, nine photos of herself, okay? Um, I think that I know for me 
sometimes I sit back and I'm like, oh, I don't want to post that. But recently I met a lady. She's amazing. And um, she is just so herself, like so unapologetically herself. And I just felt so inspired just to be a little bit more real, be a little bit more vulnerable. And um, it's amazing. It's um, It feels so good, guys. So don't worry if someone's going to like it or not. If you like the post, that's all that matters. All right, let's talk about videos. Videos are great, but Facebook don't like them, okay? So um, if you're going to post a video, go for it. But I really believe if you want to do a video, do a Facebook Live. Let's talk about what to post. Let's talk about posting results. Let's talk about posting things we value. Let's talk about posting lifestyle. Whatever you post, just make sure it's real. Make sure it's relatable, all right? Here's some more examples, okay? Friendship. If you guys want some inspiration, go and follow Carly. I love watching what she posts. Rach McConnell, is her posts are on point as well. Emma Van Der Waal is incredible. Um, you know, find some people in, in Isogenics who inspire you with their posts. You know, see what they're posting. And then you can post that, but just make it a little bit different. Here's some more. This is about lifestyle. Okay. And now this is about um, a little bit more about the business. All right. So let's talk about compliance. So we love, we love Facebook because of the amount of people that we can reach. So it's really important that what we're posting is compliant. So we need to be accurate. We can't be misleading. We can't exaggerate or guarantee results. Results can either have a time frame or the amount of weight loss, not both, unless they've got the disclaimer. Make sure we don't mention any medical condition or illness. Income statements need to have disclaimers. The disclaimer needs to talk about, you know, that everybody's different. We've got different levels of skills and that work is involved. And make sure you just save those disclaimers into your phone so that you can use them when you need to, all right? And compliance isn't just about our personal Facebook page. Compliance is about being in the groups compliant as well. And if you see something non-compliant, what you need to do is you need to screenshot it and send it to compliance. If you can't, you know, if you know the person and you feel that you can approach them, do that, all right? We're all on the same team. You know, we're on the team Isogenics team. What And what I mean by that is um, if we all work together, you know, this company is going to rise and grow and it's just going to be so much better for all of us. Let's talk about your friends list, guys. So this is how you do it, all right? Go to the little arrow up the top right-hand side, okay? Click on that and then go to Start My Archive and Facebook will email it to you. You can then put it into a spreadsheet and work through it, okay? Now let's just talk about this. With my suggestion is not to talk about politics, religion, gossip, drama, relationship issues, arguments, swearing. Always be kind, positive and encouraging, okay? Remember that it says status, not diary. So there's something I always... Something I always think about here is something I always think about here is if Kathy Coover was, I'm going to turn my video on for a second. If Kathy Coover was watching your Facebook, would she be proud to see what you're posting? All right. So always ask yourself if Kathy was here and she saw this post, would she push like? Would she push comment and encourage you? All right. Now, if you found this presentation valuable, tag it with your tag, your teams into it, share it with them. OK, um, I know that Facebook is always changing. So just know that we've kept it really, really basic. OK, um, Facebook is always changing and there's always going to be new things. But if you have great content and you have great posts, and your friends on Facebook love you and care about you and they're following what you're doing in your journey, you know, it. you don't have to worry about the algorithms. You don't have to worry about, um, 
you know, having all these crazy strategies and plans because you're doing good posts, your friends and family are engaged, they love what you're posting about, you know, your posts are going to be visible. I just want to let you guys know just finally again, Facebook is not everything, okay? Get out there and contact the people via message, text, via phone, go belly to belly and just use Facebook as an extra, all right? Because if you are building your business just on Facebook, it's like building your dream home on rented land. In saying that, social media is incredible and amazing and it's such an incredible, incredible um, place for you to be able to leverage your time and reach more people all around the world. I hope you've enjoyed this.